to watch DC News now. Now at 930, the Maryland Department of Justice secretary is out with a new report that shows what the state is seeing in terms of youth crime. Army Kelly Newton tells us while there's been a decrease in youth crime overall, there's been an uptick in gun violence. People like what has changed about children? The answer could be nothing has changed about children. In fact, in every respect except gun crime, they're behaving better. Maybe it's the guns more than just the kids. The latest youth crime report done by the Maryland Department of Justice secretary shows violent youth crimes are below pre-pandemic levels and have been declining for more than a decade. But gun violence by and against young people is particularly alarming, with non-fatal shooting victimization of young people quadrupling statewide over the past decade. You hear a lot about juveniles, juveniles, juveniles when it comes to gun crime. Uh, last year, there were 13 times as many adults arrested for homicides as there were juveniles. And overall, juvenile crime, what this tells me is we've got to focus on the kids who are most likely to engage in gun violence or be victimized by gun violence. Vinny Chiraldi, secretary of the Maryland Department of Juvenile Services, details that incarceration, while an important tool for accountability, isn't the only solution. Incarceration itself is not necessarily the best strategy. And we know this because for 10 years before the pandemic, Maryland was specifically reducing incarceration and uh, juvenile crime was declining at the same time. The report also finds racial disparities with youth of color being overrepresented in Maryland's juvenile justice system, both as incarcerated youth and victims compared to their white counterparts. When young people break the law and they're poor and they're kids of color, they deserve the same kinds of considerations that white children would get, and we're not seeing that in the data. Michaela Newton, DC News Now.